Hey guys, what is up? Today I'll be showing you how to fix the Corsair Link software to work with your um, Corsair H100i. Now this process is not that difficult, but it does require registry er uh, edits. Now, one thing to keep in mind is this is to enable the information going through your Corsair information and your motherboard. So when you go to Corsair Let's do this, like I'll show you. So, I installed Corsair, the software, to try to read my, um, my stuff here. Now, the only thing, they're, they're actually not showing my, my other, my, um, one eight, uh, H100i pump information. Um, and they're only, only showing really the fan information, just like the pump only, it looks like. But not the fans, and I can't edit or change the RGB, um, the light, basically the LED light that's coming through the, um, the H100i that you can change in different colors. It's not showing here. So I'm here to show you how to fix that. So, um, let's get started. Well, first off, I don't have that PC. Oh, that case. I have this case, which is a 750D. All right, so what you're gonna do is go to registry edit. Okay, so now you're gonna go to local machine, system, current control set. Then you're gonna go to enum, and then you're gonna go to USB. Once you're here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of little folders and whatnot. You're going to have to find the one that has C04, 0C04. That's the one you want to click on. And you'll see multiple folders. It might not be the exact same one because I am on actually um, Windows 8.1. But it doesn't matter. As soon, just click on the first folder and this is the one you're going to edit. So you're going to edit the one that's called Device Perimeters. And right here. These three, you see these three that have um, the hex as is one. You're gonna change all these into zero. So just go to zero. And, but actually, you know what? Before I actually edit these like an idiot, for being any type of mod or information changes, make sure you back it up. I just highlight them all and go to edit. All right, go to File, then Export, then Export to your desktop, and then Backup, whatever, whatever. All right, now it's backed up. So in case anything does happen, which nothing really does happen, but just in case. So now, as I was saying, just go ahead and uh, go ahead and change all these to um, change all these to one to zero actually. So zero. 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 Okay, go ahead and close that. Now the it won't actually take effect right away. What it will do is it will work. Like if I close it, no. And try to open it again. It's probably gonna still show that it doesn't work. You have to actually do a reboot here, because the registry changes don't actually work until you actually reboot. So I'll actually be back in about a couple seconds, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, now we're back. Um, I just rebooted my PC. Now let's check out Corsair Link. Now after doing the modifications with the registry error, now you can actually see more information. Now we got the H100i pump. There's the there's the there's how there's the pump. There's the fan 1 and there's fan 2. And guess what? Now I can change my LED. Yay! So that is actually how to change and well this is actually how to fix the problem with Corsair Link and Corsair 100 H, uh, 100i um, basically finding all the information. So hope this actually helps you guys. Um, please rate, subscribe and all that great stuff guys. And um. If you like this video, like it, and if you guys don't, don't.
but still I'm pretty sure this helps you. If not, then let me know and I'll look into it further.